Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video I'm gonna explain to you how you can get cinematic videos even with an affordable camera like the Canon M100. Stay tuned! So to make this video I use the Canon EOS M100 with a kit lens 15-45, to a fixed ND8 with a polarizer, a diffusion filter, the Black Promist uh, with 1 of 8 uh, intensity and everything was filmed at 720p. So all these tips and techniques can be used also with uh, lower budget cameras. One of the secrets to get cinematic looking footage is to have a good amount of dynamic range. If you don't know what does it mean in dynamic range, it's basically the amount of uh, light that the sensor of our camera can read. For example, the Canon EOS M100 can only see 10 stops of dynamic range, so 10 levels of uh, brightness, uh, while the U1i can see 20 stops of dynamic range. So as you can see, there is a huge difference between what we really see and what we can capture with the cameras. But there are a few tricks that we can use to improve the dynamic range captured by our camera. One of these is to use a diffusion filter. The diffusion filter is going to help us to lower the contrast of the image and is going to raise a little bit the details in the shadows. In my case I use the Black Promist from Tiffen that has an intensity of 1 of 8 and this is not giving a strong effect of diffusion but it's going to be enough to give more a cinematic look to our images. And in addition to this filter I always use fixed ND filters with the polarizer because they help to keep the shutter speed at the proper speed and we're gonna keep the aperture of our lens wide open and the polarization effect is gonna increase the saturation in the sky and this is gonna help us to retain the details even if the sky is uh, a little bit too bright I will put the links in the description so you can see what type of filters I used for this uh, video in addition to the filters there are two more tricks to increase the dynamic range of our camera the first is that we can change the dynamic range capture from our camera enabling the highlight tone priority setting. In this way the camera is gonna film with the base ISO of 200 instead of 100 and it's gonna capture more uh, details in the shadows. It's important to don't overexpose the main subject otherwise we're gonna lose uh, information in the skin in the sky. It's always better to underexpose a little bit the footage so we're gonna have more room to play with the highlights and with the shadows. Another setting that we have to change in the camera is to change the picture profile from standard or automatic to neutral. We're gonna change the sharpness strength to 0, sharpness fineness to the value of 2, sharpness threshold to the value of 2, the contrast to the value of minus 4, saturation we can keep it at 0, and color tone to zero as well. But what about you guys? What's your uh, friendly budget camera to get uh, cinematic videos? Drop in a comment a link with your video and what camera you're using. It will be nice to share your artistic point of view and ideas to everyone so we can all improve our skills. If you like this video, show it and click the like button and think about to subscribe to the channel. It will help me a lot. So this is it for today guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao.